Steven's first time as a grown 32-year-old man getting a facial. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I'm in this era where I want to be more fit and just be stronger. I feel like I've been really slacking off in terms of my exercise routine ever since the wedding. I'm on this journey to be a little bit more active and exercise more. Strawberry and cream. Yes. We need a mocha. Oh. Hey, cutie. I just said I love all the wine strawberries. When you look back in 10 years, you're gonna be like, oh, why was I so harsh? I'm afraid of getting old. I'm afraid of getting wrinkles and white hair. Like, I know I've been worse since dating you because I smell a lot more now. The other day, one of my coworkers, she's like a work mom to me. She gave me a whole bag of oranges. I was also thinking, well, what's the easiest way to eat these oranges? And I'm like, okay, let's make orange juice. So juicy. I smell the vitamin C. All right, let's try this out. I've never used this before. So I'm assuming you just push it down and it'll automatically start running. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. This is so easy. Wow, so when it's full, all you do is boop and it drains out. Freshly squeezed orange juice. Let's give it a taste. Rejuvenated. Mm, mm, mm. So yummy. Steven Sir has to put it in his compost. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Oh, it's good. Very fresh. Very fresh. Yeah. Thank you, honey. The machine is super easy. Shock. And this is why all the Asian old ladies love Steven. What do you think, Steven's garden? <laughs> Very productive. <laughs> Very productive. I mean, if one kabocha is five dollars, we're rich. Mm -hmm. One ninety nine per pound. One ninety nine per pound. Uh, I just got like two days ago, more five dollars. Well, I don't know how mine tastes. Maybe they don't taste good. That's <laughs> fine. It's really it's very easy to grow, right? I tried to grow it the last two years, no no luck. But this year was really good. I think because I added all the, the irrigation. And also the compost. Huh? Yeah, and the compost. Basil. And then there's a pineapple over there. Sunflower heads. So they're all the seeds, you see? Oh. If you remove the flowers. Uh -huh. But I'm letting it dry right now. So you can take some too. Okay. This had a bug, and that's what caused this. Okay. They're called like leaf miners. I don't, I don't know if they're the same ones that are in here, but oh. the bug blind moth lays an egg. Then there's like a caterpillar that eats the top part. Oh. I killed them, like I squished them, but that's why they have these lines. We are going to Sun Nong Dan for lunch. I really love their beef soup. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Cinemarill has always been my favorite because he's just so sweet and dreamy and every time I look at him, he always brings a smile to my face. Plus, I absolutely adore the white and blue baby color scheme. What do you guys think? Do you think these nails are cute or not? They're so 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 adorable. I just don't know if I can function in them. morning <laughs> you do not sound I've never done this before this is Steven's first time as a grown 32 year old man getting a facial half a year ago I was already pushing Steven you should try a facial because he's been complaining a lot about his acne on his face I mean it's because I'm eating bad food of course but I also think it's important to clean your face, you know, or have someone, you know, squeeze out your blackheads, your whiteheads, you know, help you exfoliate and... Okay, so as a woman... But you also have the mindset of you shouldn't pop your pimples and stuff at home. Yes, you should let a professional do it. Hence, you should get a facial maybe every three to four weeks, as recommended. <laughs> recommended by who? <laughs> by the estheticians. Who have a vested interest in recommending it? I know. Well, I, I do think it helps with my skin. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, I have a lot of pimples and acne, so uh, I figured now, eh, whatever. Let's just try it out. And yeah. See what happens. So I warned him the acne extraction part is going to be painful. Don't expect it to be like a massage. I mean, they will give you a massage, but it, it will be a little painful. Okay. As we're going back to the facial place that I featured in my glow up with me video if you want to watch it. I bought the package and I'm still using the package like half a year later. This is a couple's facial. Are we going to be in the same room? I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, okay. Let's go! You excited? <laughs> yeah, so... Explain to me what happens. I take on my clothes, they give me a shirt, I put it on, mm -hmm. we lie down, and then they just do everything. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I just lay down. Oh, my baby's so cute. We're gonna get our facials now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we are done with the facials. <laughs> So, how'd you feel? Oh man, it was so painful. Two thumbs down. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe women are just stronger than men, but Jesus Christ. Up here, when they extracted in the upper cheek area, it hurt like hell. Right here, you know, between my, or the sides of my nose. Mm -hmm. Very, very painful too. Oof. I don't know why people do this. It's uh... I mean, I did warn you that the acne extraction part is gonna be painful, mm -hmm. but it was worse than you thought it was gonna be. Yeah. This is his first time, and he probably needs deep cleaning from what the woman said. And I feel like if you go every couple of weeks, there's not that much of a deep cleaning necessary. But I agree, yeah, the acne extraction is super painful. And at least for me, whenever they're extracting, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my god, beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain. And I just voice that mantra, so it kind of keeps me like, okay, it, it, I, I'm doing this because I'm going to become more beautiful. You're never going to do this again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's not on my uh, to-do list for the future. Okay, Steven's first time. <laughs> right, kudos, at least he tried it. Because uh, most men probably wouldn't. And I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't try. <laughs> it's gonna be Halloween season. I always get so stoked about Halloween. Let's bring out the Halloween decorations and decorate for Halloween. Hey, Lofi, why are you here? You gonna decorate Halloween with us too? <laughs> this pumpkin first. Right here. Let's see. You know, kind of like this. He needs help 